common question people ask in OPDs, doctor, what should we do when uh, when my when the patient has low sugar at home? Um, this is a very common question. So the moment, how do you, the moment you suspect a person is having low sugar, the immediate, the first step you ought to be doing is checking the blood sugar. And when you check the blood sugar, and if it is low, um, then what you have to be do, immediately doing is following the rule of 15, we call that. Okay? Uh, we give 15 grams of carbohydrate. When I'm saying 15 grams, it might be um, around three to four glucose tablets, or it can be one tablespoon of sugar, 120 ml of some fruit juice or anything of 15 grams of carbohydrate has to be given and we have to make sure that it don't give diet drinks because they don't have enough sugar so second thing uh, after checking the blood sugar and giving the 15 grams of carbohydrate makes make sure that the patient is recovering usually people with mild hypoglycemia they recover very well and they feel better and, uh, and and again you check the blood sugar after 15 minutes so to reach to see if there is any further drop in blood sugar what factors usually cause poor medication adherence now we have to understand when a patient is prescribed some medications he has to be most of this have to be uh, have to be taken a lifetime or uh, most of at least the lifestyle tablet uh, medications like diabetes and thyroid and cholesterol medications usually are continued for a lifetime uh, so first of all patient has to be aware of the importance of uh, his medications and the importance of trying blood sugar control and the role of these medications in that number two you should be educated enough many times when people are not educated enough they they can't read and they just miss out on the tablets number three is the cost many times cost is such a barrier which they are afraid or they are not comfortable discussing with the doctor number four with the complex regimens with so many diabetic medications in the market sometimes it's very confusing for patients um, when they have too many medications taking it before food or after food or uh, timing and the dosing of the tablets is going to cause a lot of confusion. So we have seen many patients dropping out or skipping the medication for the complexity of the regimen. So we always try to encourage uh, simple regimens and uh, better we write, or the doctors would write it in a, in a person's own language so that they can adhere to that problem. common question people ask is doctor how to prevent diabetic complications so, and first of all you have to be aware of what complications diabetes can produce the three common three common organs we call diabetic retinopathy affecting the eyes so uh, the eyes kidneys and the nerves are the most common or, um, organs or areas where diabetic diabetes can actually cause damage so we, we all know though it can affect every organ Blood sugar control is the fundamental, uh, is the key in preventing complications. Various studies have proved that. So how do we actually um, control blood sugars? It's not just about, we're we are talking about a lifetime of diabetic uh, blood sugar management. The first thing you have to be doing is maintain a healthy lifestyle. Nothing beats a healthy lifestyle. Second thing would be to adhere to the medications the doctor has prescribed. Many times people don't or not complain with the medications. Number three is come for routine checkups. So it might not be frequent, but at least screening for complications. One of the most common questions people ask is, how can we prevent, doctor, how can we prevent diabetes from passing on to generations. Um, if, if you're looking at the etiology of, of why a person gets diabetes, genes will play a major role. So genetics is one of the major uh, part of why a person can get diabetes. But what I've found is environmental factors or the lifestyle is such a major key in actually uh, in determining when you get diabetes and how severe diabetes is. 
So, um, genetics is something which we can't control, but lifestyle is something which is in our hands. And so, there are three simple tips that we always advise patients to, to maintain a healthy BMI. Uh, this is very important for every person to maintain a healthy BMI. And number two is to be more active. And number three, on watch out on their diets. Be conscious of what we are eating, because all these three things are major part of the uh, components of lifestyle management.